Hey, what's up everyone? Well, hope you're all hunkering down, staying safe during this pandemic, you know, staying at home, saving lives. That's all what counts, right? But I do want to keep you up to date on the latest delays on movies and video games. First, the movies, most importantly, the ones that got delayed till next year. I already mentioned Fast and Furious 9 got pushed till next year, or F9, whatever the hell you would call it. It's Fast and Furious 9, but come on. What else are you going to call it? But... Um, three other movies that I just heard recently got pushed till next year that I'm anticipating for this year, so it's definitely going to have an effect on my anticipated list, as well as possibly my best list of 2020. So, and don't be surprised if several other movies will end up this way, you know, considering the ripple effect that a lot of these delayed movies are causing, but... First one is Minions Rise of Gru, the sequel, which I didn't know what they were going to do with, but the trailer does look promising. Who knows what Illumination is going to do with this, and it's going to cause a bit of a ripple effect on other films that they have later on down the road coming out. So, yep, not coming out till next year, unfortunately, July to be exact. So, even though the trailer's out, looks promising and cutesy and colorful, nope, not coming out this year, unfortunately. Um... Second one, Disney's Jungle Cruise, based off of the attraction. I'm a bit skeptical, you know, and you got Dwayne The Rock Johnson. A lot of his movies are entertaining to watch. As I mentioned, it does look like a mix between Tarzan and Pirates of the Caribbean-ish. I'm hoping it's more of that level of the first Pirates of the Caribbean with Emily Blunt alongside him. But unfortunately, also going to get pushed till July of next year. Yeah, it was supposed to come out at the end of July, but that ain't the case. At least not this year. And another one that I'm highly anticipating that most of us Ghostbusters fans are, Ghostbusters Afterlife, the third movie in the franchise. Yes, after that horrendous abomination that came out in 2016, this one is trying to bring it back to its full glory, at least, you know, for nostalgic reason. Not expecting it to be as good as the first two, even with some new cast members. They are going to bring the original ones back, even though Harold Ramis passed away, but... I have faith in this one, it's definitely given me some better vibes than that crap. But unfortunately, also not coming out till next year. Not July, but March of next year. So, yep, I guess we gotta wait till next year to know who you're gonna call once again. Uh, video games. The only one that I was really anticipating, like most people, considering I have a PlayStation 4, is Last of Us Part 2. Yep, this took several years. You probably saw my anticipated list, and are waiting impatiently, but then again, patience will pay off, people. It originally was finally set for next month, but not happening. God only knows when, but hey, the longer it takes, the better it will be. It's better that Sony and Naughty Dog takes their time and puts the amount of effort and finishing touches to it, because, come on, you don't want it to suck, people. And, well, in the meantime, I'm keeping myself entertained. I got a game review I'm working on, as well as several others that are coming up down the road. Um... Yep, and also bought one of these bad boys, along with a couple of several other games, and Doom Eternal. Digital copy, obviously, because, well, GameStops near me, unfortunately, aren't open. So, how to make do with this one, and to keep it short, sweet, to the point, I'm enjoying the living hell out of it so far. No VR experience, unfortunately, at least not one that I came across, but otherwise, people... Stay at home, stay safe, stay healthy. Let's try to get through this the best we can. The longer you put this off, people, the longer it'll take. Until next time, keep watching.